see and support them, the movie can fail. So we're starting to realize if we give you enough storylines, something will speak to you in the movie. So that there's a storyline in there that, that speaks to you just like there's a storyline in Fates Collide or a story or a character in Army Wise. It's the same, the similar thing. So some of those actors I had known, and, and some of them Gary had known. Gary Marshall's the director. And it was a matter of pulling him in one. Has anyone heard of that? You were gonna have a Xena quote. A Xena what? A Xena quote. Well, in Valentine's Day. Three gals. Are they here to, to identify himself? Anyway, they're here, I think. Yeah, so, but one thing that, um, I was, you know, I had a very, very difficult childhood. A lot of people do. A lot of people have easy childhoods. I'm not trying to put myself on a scale. But I think the greatest accomplishment is I did not let my origins keep me down. I still knew who I was, stepped forward, and, and succeeded despite. Um, and my... Worst, the thing I'm disappointed with, um, that I'm not 5'7 or 8, I always just thought I was going to get taller, I waited. No, um... No, see, <laughs> no, um... I mean, I know, I, I never think that, it's not out, you know, you're not out till you're out. You know, you, you're not done until, there can always be one, so I never really, it, you know, Valentine's Day was put into turnaround when New Line folded and that was not going to get made. And then it's like suddenly six months later and Warner Brothers buys New Line and now they're suddenly making it and it's going to be in the theater. So you just, I never count anything out. It's all, everything changes, the climate changes. With the immediacy of things like Facebook and Twitter when you have so many fans that, oh look, Catherine's online. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't really use Twitter. I have Twitter and I have Twitter simply to follow the Saints athletes. All I care about on Twitter is what my Saints, what my boys have got to say to me. And I read every day that Reggie Bush loves God Money by Lil Wayne. You know, that's his favorite song right now. So, could you try to that? I know. So, I, Reggie Bush is the running back, but I don't really, I don't, I don't think I've Twittered more than, that's, I don't even, that word sounds, there's a lot of things that word sounds like, but I, I, more than like once or twice. But Facebook, I really love, but I don't have another Facebook account, and a lot of people have two, and I pretty much am who I am, and if I step up and be who I am, and everybody in this room steps up and be who they are, we're all going to get where we're supposed to go as a, as a society, as a spiritual group, as anything. So I just say what I'm going to say no matter who reads it. I don't, I don't, I don't even think about it. Maybe that, maybe that isn't so smart, but that's what I do. Where's my questions? Questions, questions. Yeah. Status on Army Ways. Well, they're filming right now. You know, I was on the show for the first, I wrote basically the whole first episode, the first season. So it, the first season was really my voice and my characters and setting up the show the way I had sort of envisioned it. And then it, you just walk away and let it take over. And, you know, and obviously there were some disagreements and uh, of my voice versus the voice that, 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 that the employers would prefer. And that's their right. To, to have what they want because they're paid for it. So it was good that I left because I got to go do Army Wine, I mean, to do Valentine's Day and look, at, look what that's going to do. And, you know, I want to do Room and Rome. I want to do this. And, you know, it's, it's basically a lesbian independent film. And I'd never done one of those and I really wanted to do one. So I felt like I was able to get that done on my checklist and, you know, keep moving down. So. Um, what attracted to you to screenwriting as a particular writing medium? And do you have any tips for? Um, telling a story entirely through dialogue? Well, uh, what attracts me, I think, is it, I was always a writer, but I didn't know that I wanted to be a writer, I would say, for quite some time. Because I majored in theater, and I liked all of theater. I directed, I acted, you know, I did, the only thing I can't do is sew. There's no sewing. And so, but I like all of theater, I like performance, I like moving people and, and, and you know, investing myself in. And, and respecting their time that they're giving me. So I tried to, so I could have done anything in theater and probably been happy, but I lived in Los Angeles. And again, speaking of things I didn't do, I was too afraid to move to New York. That seemed too daunting and big. And unless you go to New York, you're really not gonna have a theater career. So that's sort of how I segued into, into screenwriting. That we all and it's inside your head in a, as a novel or in some other sort of prose narrative. I 
honestly, I don't know that I'm allowed to because I think it's own. I think it's a rights issue. I, I think I couldn't. But you never know. It's something to ask. Is there a way to? I think that's a legal question. It would cost less than that ten million dollars for a movie for them to. That movie is going to have to cost more than ten million dollars. Fifteen. I mean, when Rob and I, we, you know, you know that Rob and I worked out a whole movie. I mean, we have a whole pitch. We went in and sat in rooms and wrote it down and kick this out, kick that out, and then he kicked me and I kicked him, and, you know, and finally we had, we had a, a, a pretty solid treatment. Maybe I should just tell it to everybody right now. No. <laughs> worked out, you know, how it would work and, and some really creative ideas and we found, I found a way because it's almost like intertwining again is to get almost everybody we love back in it because a lot of the storylines that people shouldn't mix, you know, you have this, the Roman section and then you have the, you know, the Greek section and then you did have different worlds where people are in. So trying to get them to all intertwine again, you know, the Amazons and, you know, it's a little bit of a challenge but we got most everybody in and sort of this journey odyssey to, to get them back together. And because you don't want them together really fast, you want, this, uh, you want that moment, the hunt and the search to get them together. So it became a bunch of a sort of a road pick. Ancient history road pick. Ancient. <laughs> but no cars, no cars in that one. Hi. Hi, everyone.